welcome to your Holistically Fit Life. I'm Sally Estlin and I'm a Holistically Fit Specialist. I'm based in Melbourne, Australia. So come and join our journey each week where we discover different ways you can become fitter and healthier in all aspects of your life around your mind, your body and your soul. So that together we can create some positive change in your life and shift and lift your energy from feeling crappy to feeling happy. So join us and we will show you simple, small steps you can take so you can lift into your greatness. Life's too short, so let's start now. Hey everyone and welcome once again to Your Holistically Fit Life and I'm Sally Estlin and today I'm here with a beautiful bunch of bling angels and today we'll be doing some card readings and I thought we'd go around the room first up and just introduce each of the angels that are here today. Hi everyone, my name is Claire and I do and I'm the Relationships and Dreams Bling Angel. Hi everyone and I'm Alison, I'm the Empowerment and Self Love Bling Angel. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Sher. I'm the Clarity and Success Bling Angel. Hi everyone, my name is Gina. I am the Love and Joy Bling Angel. Hi everyone, I'm Angie and I'm completely passionate about healing hearts all over the world with these beautiful Bling Angels. Fantastic. So today we're going to do something really special. Each of the angels is going to pull a card from a particular deck of cards. Now, each of the decks has a different flavour, different energy, different vibe to it. So I'm in inviting you all to sort of, if you um, want to Think of a question that you may want some clarity and guidance and insight around, or maybe it just might be some one of the cards really speaks to you, really resonates with you, and you really feel into it. So what we're going to do is go around to the room, and each of the angels is going to pull a card from a particular deck. And as I said, each of the decks has a particular flavour to it. So just let's see what comes out of it and see what card resonates with you. So maybe over to you, Claire, what deck are you pulling from today? I have the purple deck, which is known as the inspiration deck. It's really good if you're looking for some wise old owl advice. So this one's really interesting. Um, it's probably a little bit too small to read, but I'll read it out. It says... Sometimes people aren't capable of giving us the love we need and deserve. It's about where they're at, not you. Mm. This is a perfect card for relationships because we are often going outside of ourselves to seek validation and worthiness. And we often come with these expectations that are not always communicated to other people about what we're wanting. This card is a reminder that we are the source of love and we can give that to ourselves and that we can give that to others. And um, sometimes in life, people are not always there and they're not always available to us in the way that we want. It might be a partner or an ex-partner. It might be a child. It might be um, a parent. And this is, as I see it, is about being mindful in the moment, accepting what is, but continuing to love yourself and others. Beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Claire, very much. Over to you, Ali. Which deck are you drawing from today? So I have chosen the Diamonds Within deck because I believe, particularly as an empowerment and self-love coach, that everything we need is within us. And our Diamonds Within, as it says in the Diamond card that Angie has as part of the group, it's all about, you know, we as a diamond, you kind of flourish because you've had a lot of pressure and that's mm -hmm. how you grow and that's how you, you shine. That's how you're formed. So it's about the diamonds within us. And today's card says, I'm leaving the past behind, knowing that that's exactly where it belongs. I so love this mm -hmm. because you, we're all of us, you know, we heal hearts, as Angie has said. And it's about leaving our past behind. It's about leaving the negative experiences it's about leaving all the the negative self-talk the people who've put us down the hurts the disappointments any sort of thing that holds us back from what has happened in our past it's gone my favorite analogy is you don't drive your car looking through the rear rear vision mirror if you did you'd crash and you wouldn't get anywhere <laughs> so when you're going through life look through the windscreen you can see where you're going you can focus on your destination and your direction. You can see if there are any obstacles coming up. Yes, you need to check your mirror, especially the rear vision mirror, because that will tell you if there's anything coming up from behind that's going to get in your way. But don't just focus on the rear vision mirror. Focus on the front. So leaving your past behind means you learn from it. 
but you don't take it with you. You don't let it drag you down. In fact, as an angel, you would like it to uplift you to your next level so you can get to your destination knowing that it's absolutely perfect where you're going to be and it's what you deserve and desire. That's what the card says to me. It's beautiful. Thanks, Ali. Really beautiful. So that was from the Diamonds Within deck. So, Michelle, which deck are you pulling from today? The Believe deck today. And the Believe deck is all about believing that anything is possible. Anything is possible. So the card I got today was about, am I blocking abundance? Which is a really... Um, a really deep thing to think about because as, as a woman, um, as, as a person, often we keep ourselves small and we do block abundance because to open ourselves up to it, to welcome it in, is taking a risk and either a risk in, in um, our personal vulnerability or a risk in financial vulnerability. So am I blocking abundance? Sometimes these cards are also, also about challenging you to go, well, am I or aren't I? And I think I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably going to be a bit of a fence, fence sitter here today. Am I blocking abundance? I don't think I'm blocking it, but I don't think I'm totally open either I think there's still work for me to do there so yeah am I blocking abundance that's a that's a good question thanks Sal mm, fantastic well yeah the believe deck is really <laughs> can challenge you a little bit as well so Gina where which deck are you drawing from today oh you know me Sal I'm all about love and joy <laughs> so I've decided to pick a card from the love deck and the card I've picked, you can see these beautiful green cards, um, and it's probably too small to read, but I'll read it out, says, what makes me feel alive above and beyond is, which is such a great card for me today. I've got a really busy couple of days ahead, and I, I do love to be busy, but, you know, these cards are about enhancing our happiness and renewing our you know our inner peace and joy and the lovable bubble is all about connecting with your pure source of love and for me going into this next couple of days presenting in a networking group running classes and just keeping busy it's all about you know connecting with my pure source of love and gratitude towards other people I always think of the house of happiness, you know, being about maintaining your, your, the four cornerstones of your house, which is your mind, your body, your heart and your soul. Um, the roof of your house being, you know, your, your beautiful passion and purpose, taking responsibility for all those areas of your life and bringing love into the everyday so that you're grateful for the people around you. And you see, you see people, you know, for all their, their strengths and stretches, as magnificent and unique human beings um, that you can share love with. And of course, around our house is a beautiful garden and that's all our relationships. So as I go into the next day or so, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my inner house of happiness. Um, I'm looking after myself and, you know, it's really important tonight for me to get good rest and nurture uh, myself so that as I go into a very busy day tomorrow, I bring my best self. And I look at the people I will be speaking to as being unique and amazing individuals. No one needs fixing. No one needs anything like that. They just need pure love, respect and gratitude. Mm -hmm. And if I'm present in the moment and, and open with curiosity to all those people, I think it's going to be a, a fantastic day ahead. So for me, this card is perfect. What makes me feel alive above and beyond is being with people and ensuring joy in all those relationships. That was beautiful, Gina, and some beautiful points there that you made. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thanks, so, Sal. Over to you, Angie. Which deck are you drawing from today? Thanks, Sal. Um, I'm drawing today from the Bling Boost deck. So let's see where this all takes us. So the Bling Boost deck is like a beautiful disco ball. It's like what we think about and what we vibrate um, is able to come back to us, you know, like a mirror. It all comes back to us. And the Bling Boost cards are all about giving you that big boost of confidence just when you need it. You know how something always lands and you're like, I needed to hear that today. <laughs> so let's see what it is today. I'm going to take from the middle of the deck. 
there's two that's come out. So I hope it's okay with you. May I read two, Sal? 100%. If that's what came out, that's me. Okay, great. <laughs> so for everyone out there, I'd love you to really lean into which card here today is the message for you. And, you know, take it as it's um, landed just at the right time for you to find your way on your path. The first one is you can unleash your intuition. Oh, don't I love that card. And the reason that I love that card is so often we've had these niggles in the last 24 hours or in the last, last week that our intuition is telling us what to do. We're not acting. So if this is your card today, um, I really invite you to listen to that intuition and take action. Take action because action is where you're going to get on purpose, get on path, and you're going to feel really fulfilled. And the other card, which is super cute, that came out today is you can ask for more. So I'd like to invite you to fill in the blank. So is it, I can ask for more love. I can ask for more happiness. I can ask for more happiness. I can ask for more money. As women, we stop money coming in because we think we can't receive. We can receive. So you can ask for more. Trust the first thing that came to mind of what you would like more in. Just as Gina said, you are already perfectly whole. We are here just to help you invite more into your life. So thank you so much, Sel. And that's the Bling Boost deck. Well, that was beautiful. I love that. Absolutely love it. So now I'm drawing from the growth deck today. Now, I love the growth deck because it can be a little bit challenging. It's about helping you evolve and maybe gain greater insights about yourself and your life. Sometimes they can take you out of your comfort zone. So the growth deck is a red deck. And the card that I've drawn today is when I'm down, what lifts my spirits? When I'm down, what lifts my spirits? Now, this for me has many layers because instantly, whenever I get down or I get tired or worn out or a little depressed, I get outside in nature. Walking for me and exercise is just, it just shifts my energy like that. But for me, it's around anything that shifts my energy to be more positive and grateful. So, you know, there's a saying that negative, negativity and fear cannot hold its breath when surrounded by positivity and gratitude. And it really is a choice. We can choose to be positive or we can be choose to be negative. So when we're getting down, I like to stop and pause, reset by getting out in nature, going for a walk, um, particularly around water and uh, seeing the birds, that sort of thing, but also resetting my mindset to say, well, you know, what's getting me down? I have a choice here. Sometimes I can really shift it to be positive. And sometimes I just have to wear those emotions and go, today is not the greatest day for me. I'm just having a bit of a uh, day, but, you know, tomorrow will be different. But, you know, honouring how I feel, I think is important. And also just taking that time to step away from whatever's dragging me down and resetting my energy. So, yeah, I love the growth cards because they're a little bit can be a little bit deeper than what you initially think so initially for me it was instantly exercise but then why do I need the exercise let's peel the layers down and it's about shifting myself to be a little bit more positive and uh, grateful because really as I said before if I'm going to sit with that negativity and the fear you know that's not the choice I want to be sitting with so yeah that's the the uh the growth deck so that was awesome and you know what I forgot to do in the beginning was just go around each of the angels because each of the different bling angels here has a different flavor or a specialty or a different vibe so i just like to invite everybody just to share you know what sort of angel and uh you are starting with you claire
needing these support. So I really love it, Empowered Independence. But thank you very much for sharing that, Ali. Now over to you, Michelle. Well, so I guess my, I guess it's a superpower. I'm going to call it a superpower. Yeah, I love that. Love my superpower is all about achievement. And, you know, some people look at that as a real masculine kind of thing. But for females as well, it's about realising our best potential, so um, yeah, I'm all about how do I how do I clear my mind? How do I get focus? What do I need to deal with along the way? To you know, what tools do I need to deal with potential obstacles? How do I call these obstacles out? How do I deal with them? Okay, let's get me on that path to living the life that I actually want. Because so many people get to a point in their life where they're going, "Wow, this is what I've built," but I'm not sure that I'm comfortable here and I don't know that this is actually what I want. So, yeah, I help them gain that clarity. I help them get on that path to the success that they define and success that's, um, yeah, individual to them. So I help both individuals and I help groups and I also help people in the in the um, workspace. I, I do um, workshops and I consult in the workspace to also help people get that in their work. Yeah, it's so powerful. And what I love is, you know, you're all about achievement. So it's the action side of it. It's not just yeah. talking, you know, you're assisting people to achieve their goals and find that clarity about where they, they're choosing to go. So really important. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Michelle. Now over to Gina, the little spunk in the corner. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. I've had a haircut, everyone. So I'm getting used to it. Uh, yeah, it's. I love that we're all transitioning and growing every single day. And in my business, uh, empowering individuals individuals, couples and groups to experience more joy in love, life and leadership. I work with such a range of people and I use coaching and hypnotherapy. But my, my chief area of interest and um, desire to help people in is their emotional health and fitness because we all bring so much baggage from our past. Sometimes we don't even know how to express our emotions. Um, or even label them. So I, I like to help people understand that they have emotions, they are not their emotions, just as they have thoughts, they are not their thoughts. And I work with them to help them label what's going on and lean into it, really feel their emotions, accept them as being valid, and then be able to let them go so that they can move forward and really experience the joy and the love in their relationships, in their lives, whether it be at work, a home or play. And, uh, you know, they deserve it. So, so I'm here to say to people, you deserve um, at, to receive, which is interesting. And she was talking about, you know, to receive that love, that abundance in life. And you don't have to, to sit with anything less. You can create so much more. I love it, Gina, because we're all, all emotional beings and we are so emotional, particularly being females with our hormones up and down and just riding that wave. So becoming emotionally fit is like, you know, I just you're speaking to my heart. It's fantastic. So thank you. Very important area of where, where you help people. And so over to you, Angie, the creator of the Find Your Bling Game. Oh, thanks, Sal. Thanks, Sal. Um, yeah, what am I truly passionate about? I am truly passionate about each person finding their way, their way. 
So I find, it, um, and I know that all of the angels were very collective on this, is that you know what's good for one person is not good for another person, and what some person can one person can forgive, another person cannot forgive. And there's no rules to life. There's no rules to anything actually. Yep. So I'm very very passionate about supporting people. I always say that as angels, we catch people while you're falling, so that you can catch your breath. And you know, through the beautiful cards and all the other modalities that the angels have, we know that Sal has invited us here to be on her beautiful channel today. And we've all had sessions with Cell and her energetic work is above and beyond what anyone could even imagine. So I would highly recommend that, you know, each angel, this is a tool that they use, but they all have these magical qualities. And Cell's is definitely this energetic quality that's amazing. So it supports you on your way, your way. So my biggest passion is life is that, you don't listen to everyone else around you. You get the right mentors that allow you to lean into your path and support you on your way. Thanks, Absolutely, Sarah. Absolutely Angie. And so I'd just like to um, put out there to everyone, if you're resonating with any particular flavour with any angel, we're putting the contact details at the end of this and I encourage you to reach out and uh, you know, have a chat with one of the angels here because we all are here about healing hearts around the world. I'm particularly passionate about shifting and lifting energy for people to create positive change. So, yeah, thank you so much. So now I think we're just towards the tail end, Angie. Was there anything that we wanted to do particularly around the group? I think we've got a couple of minutes. How, how many minutes have we got, Sal? I, I can't hear Michelle. Can anyone tell how many minutes we've got? Gold light. Let's do a gold light. Yeah, that's what oh, I was like. Fantastic. Bring it on. Light. Good thing <laughs> that we're on the same wavelength. So um, how should we do this? Would you like me just to pull a deck so that we can get through everybody? Okay. Um, Ellie, where would you like me to pull from in the deck? Anywhere, thanks, Anne. Okay. Ellie's beautiful card today is I am uplifted. That is beautiful, Ellie. And you are uplifted with everything. You know, you still are this wonderful soul. It's just amazing what you can achieve. So you are uplifted today and supported. And maybe out there this card resonates with you. Michelle, you. Um, which, where would you like me to pull from? Um, I'd like you to pull from the bottom of the pack, please. The bottom of the pack? Perfect. Thank you. And it is accepting. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? It is. I am accepting. I am accepting. I am awesome. Accepting. Am I blocking abundance? And I am accepting. Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah. That's um. That's kind of coming together for me. So I, I would have to say yes. I'm I'm opening up to accepting abundance. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. I love that, Claire. Would where would you like me to pull from? Oh, the one that's sticking up. That one or that one? Um. The first one. Okay, beautiful. Ooh, your card is I'm mesmerizing. Ooh. Ooh, that is so yeah. cool. <laughs> I haven't seen that card for a long time. I'm mesmerizing. That's it. Everyone needs to be in your beautiful energy. I love that. That's Thank lovely. You. Claire. Yeah. Um, I'm not sorry. I'm Gina. I, I'm actually looking at Gina saying Claire. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, where would you like me to choose from? Oh, right from the, there's one sticking up there at the end. Yeah, that's it. And your card today is I am ambitious. Oh, isn't it funny? I've never thought of myself that way, but I'm driven today. I, I think that's perfect. I think that is perfect. And the reason that that card ended up in the deck is women are, think ambition is a bad thing, but done with positive, female, wonderful energy. Ambition is great. And we are we are allowed to be ambitious as well and lean into that. That's a great card. Thanks, Gina. Sal? I just want a lucky dip, please, Angie. Oh, <laughs> in the middle. All right. Sal's card today is... Oh, I am optimistic. And we would all agree that Sally's the most optimistic of us all for sure. How does that kind of resonate with you? Oh, I'd look absolutely in line with, you know, when I'm down, what lifts my spirits. And it's about being positive and great, grateful and yeah, optimistic because everything's a choice. And I just choose to see the Pollyanna, the happier side of life. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Short. That was fantastic. I love, oh, can I pull one too? 100%, go okay. for it. I'll come from the middle too. 
And it is, oh my goodness. Okay. I am wild. <laughs> it sums you up, Angie. <laughs> we know that. We know oh, that. And I think it's about time happened. I went out. I think it's about time I went out to the wild side. And I just went, you know what? I'm going to step into that genius, whatever it is. Yep, I love it. I am wild. Because I think deep down we all have that little part of us that just wants to be a little different. And it's a nice reminder that you can actually be yourself and be accepted, which is what I love about all the beautiful girls. Sally, back to you. Thank you so much for today. I just want to wrap it all up and just say thank you, Angels, for coming along today and sharing this experience. And for those of you playing along at home, hopefully you were able to resonate with some of the cards and messages that came along because you never pull a wrong card. And even if it's pulled for someone else, there's always a message for you within these cards. So we went through a different, um, you know, a, a variety of types of cards today with the different decks diamonds within the believe deck the love deck the growth deck the inspiration and the bling boost so it gives you a different flavor within each of the decks with the cards that come out of the messages so you know i invite you to contact any of us and uh, come and have another reading with us and we can do personalize it for you and get some further clarity insight and direction about some question or something that may be going on in your life it's a really wonderful intuitive experience so thanks everyone for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you again shortly so go forth and stay positive and grateful see you later see you next time bye, bye everybody so thanks for joining us today. If you want to know more or find out about my Wellness Mindset Journal or Magic Mike podcast, please visit us at holisticallyfit.com.au and follow us on socials on YouTube, Insta, Facebook and LinkedIn. Come and join the journey to create some positive change in your life to become holistically fit. It's time to empower yourself inside and out. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Ronnie from ChanceAndWaterUSA.com and I'm here to talk about the HyperClean Under Sink Triple Water Filtration System. We've got a one hour long discussion that you could check out on Roku TV, that's R-O-K-U, and it's the Natural TV News Show. Um, check us out, you're going to learn everything about water filtration, how the other filters compare, what you need, in your house, especially during times of emergency where the store shelves empty out, the first thing that's gone is water and toilet paper. You have to have something like this under your sink. And it's not something like this. I say you have to have this one. This is one of the most advanced water filtration systems on the planet, hands down, tastes absolutely delicious coming through here, is safe for the whole family, and you only have to change these cartridges out once a year. We have a discount code right now that'll save you $75 on this system. And the code, write this down when you go to our website, chanceandwaterusa.com, and you check out, you buy the filter, you check out, it's going to ask for a discount code. It's N like Nancy, T like Tom, V like Victor, N-T-V. Check out the TV channel on Roku watch our interview and learn about water filtration. Once you have this in your house, you will never go without it. If you live in an apartment, you can easily put this in under your apartment sink where you're renting and you're gonna be moving, we know that. This is set for apartment owners so you don't have to lug bottles of water up and down or in and out of your apartment. And it doesn't require any holes or any major changes to the plumbing installs in about 10 or 15 minutes and it is easy to take out when you move with you and you can put the plumbing right back the way it was. So check us out. Thanks and have a great day.